a number of prominent creationists have made very definitive statements that dinosaurs have not evolved from other groups and that there are no uh, animals which can be identified in the fossil record which have some but not all the features of dinosaurs. From a design point of view, uh, these types of animals would be impossible because it would be impossible to say evolve the dinosaur body plan over a series of stages. That complexity is quote irreducible and to use a frequently quoted design term, quote, nothing works unless everything works, unquote. And so therefore, a design advocate would claim that um, since the first dinosaurs were bipedal, with very specialized hips, legs, feet, and ankles, that these would represent um, aspects of an irreducibly complex body plan, that one could not take the more uh, typical ancestral reptilian hips, legs, ankles, and feet, and slowly modify them over very long periods of time to become those um, features seen in dinosaurs. The evolutionary model holds that while the dinosaur hips, ankles, feet, uh, and legs were modified, that uh, these are examples of traits which could evolve through a series of transitional forms. Dinosaurs first appear in the Triassic period, and the first dinosaurs are bipedal, with modified hips, with an open hip socket, and a large process on the pubic bone projecting anteriorly, and a large process on the ischium, ischium uh, projecting posteriorly. The legs were adapted for bipedal locomotion and were not sprawling uh, as in the ancestral reptiles. The uh, foot was very long so that only the toes touched the ground and the ankle joint came uh, much of the way up the leg. And the ankle joint showed a number of unique modifications so that two very large foot uh, slash ankle bones, the uh, astragalus and talus, were fused to the bones of the lower leg and the ankle joint occurred beneath them, only allowing flexion and extension rather than the twisting uh, movements which the ancestral reptilian ankles allowed. In the Triassic, there are a group of archosaurs, often referred to as thecodonts, which do seem to show gradual modifications from a sprawling body plan to one in which there were four-legged animals which could sometimes uh, stand upright and would typically hold their uh, body posture as an erect posture where the belly was not sprawling and dragging on the ground. And then finally, there are a number of archosaurs which were known to be bipedal, whose legs were much longer than their arms and uh, whose hip sockets were partially open. The hip uh, bones were modified so that the flat puboischiatic plate of the ancestral reptiles developed those processes on the pubic and ischium bones that uh, the ankle was slowly modified and the two large bones uh, were moved to attach to the bones of the lower leg and the joint was modified so that it would only flex and extend and the joint would occur beneath those two prominent bones and that the feet would be elongated so that uh, the toes uh, bore most of the body's uh, weight in typical uh, aspects of locomotion. These transitional forms are seen in the archosaurs of the Triassic, known as thecodonts, and uh, by the end, it is difficult to distinguish between many of these thecodonts and the first dinosaurs. So we do see a series of transitional forms throughout the early and mid-Triassic uh, appearing to evolve into uh, the dinosaur group.